Ben Horner for MBTV here with well, Joe the Hitman home, Joe the Wrecking Ball home. <laughs> um, the list could go on. Uh, 1 minute 37 in the first round. Opponent clean out. Um, it's nice to see not only are you respectful before the fight, you're always respectful after it as yeah. well. How do you feel, well, the minute and 37 win? You know, when, when Graham told me about the fight with Casey, he said he's been in with some good lads and he's a strong boy, so don't go out like a, you know, like you're going to have a street fight and start getting hell for liver. Just go, go in, box your way in, and when you see the shot, pick, pick the shots. And that's what I've done with, with, a, with a clean uppercut. And I'm pretty confident I if I hit most people yeah. with that uppercut, they're not going to get up. I stood at the side of the ring and I said to someone standing with, I said, the minute he gets caught, it's almost all over. That's exactly what happened. He took a little shot and yeah. he sort of went for it. Yeah, forgot, forgot about the box yeah. before yeah, coming in. <laughs> but moving ahead, um, you keep doing this to your opponents every time yeah. you're stepping up. It's my fifth, fifth knockout, yeah. So where, do you, where would you like to see things go from here? Um, just, keep, just keep fighting regularly, you know, and just fight whoever Graham... My manager, you know, pick, picks for me to fight, puts me against stuff. You know, I fight anyone. You know, I, I think I can make well one. I, I'm doing 11 on the day, so if I can get a, a fight well the day before, I'd be, I'd be happy to take that. That sort of a performance tonight, if that was on TV, people would be talking. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't. But you sh like you say, the shot's got to come at some point. Yeah. Um, this year, say. December. What would you like to be? Would you like to be holding a English seven area? I thought, yeah, I'm, I'm in the gym all year round. We train. You know, we're not training. We're not. We're not. You know, ten round fit all year round. But I'm. I'm pretty fit, and within a, a couple of three weeks of a good. Thank you. Cheers. A couple of weeks of good hard training, I can be up to six, eight round fit because I'm in the gym all year round. You know, I live the life. So, yeah, whenever, I'm. I'm ready. I will fight again tonight. You know. <laughs> When can we see Joe Hearn back out? Um, I think I, I think there's a show at the halls in Norwich on the 14th or 15th of July, I think, and um, yeah, hopefully I'll be on that. Melvin Turner, promoter, has just sort of come in. Cheers, man. Top man. Thanks, man. Um, Cheers. Every time I speak to you, Melvin, you say the same thing about Joe. It's difficult to match. <laughs> what can what you more say can about you Joe? Say? Um, where do you see this year panning out for him? Joe said that he's willing to fight at any. Any level, anywhere. Joe, Joe will fight anywhere, anytime, any place. And uh, he's, he's one of those sort of fighters. <coughs> and he uh, displayed power tonight that I haven't seen in the ring for a long, long time. You know, it wasn't just the last shot. He caught him with three or four shots prior to that. And he caught him with a right hook. And then that left uppercut just took him clean off the canvas. And, uh, you know, it's seldom you see stoppages like that. And it's seldom you see the, the just sheer raw power of this man. So we've got moving on. Um, you know, what can we say? We've got to find someone for him to fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's getting harder yeah. and harder. So. He's making my bloody job impossible. <laughs> but it's a nice impossible, you know? And, and he's going to go a long way. And I don't think there's anyone in the southern area, you know? On Joe's behalf, I'll say it now. If there's anybody who wants to fight Joe for the southern area, give me a call. Simple as that. That's his next step up now. It's got to be Southern area, English, that sort of thing. You know, Graham and I'll sit down and we'll see where he's going and uh, with Russ and uh, push him on because he, he's hungry for it. He wants belts. He's got a great fan base and he wants to close it. Let me guess exactly what we had spoke about. Promoter sort of topped it off. Thanks a lot. Cheers, well mate. done. Thank Thanks you. for your time. Thank Both you. of you. Um, brilliant performance, Joe. Thanks, mate. See you again in the Cheers,